Hello, and on Dave's desk this week, we're talking about the fors and against of either being a generalist or a niche expert. The best way of explaining this to you is actually by using my own business as an example. I used to be a generalist speaker and trainer. By that I mean I would speak or train on anything just to get a job. Uh, you know, I really was a, a, a slave to the system. If someone said, Dave, can you deliver a course on Scooby-Doo management? I would go up to the library and get a course, a book out on the subject of Scooby-Doo management. I would read it over the weekend, create a training or a talk, and then deliver it. And that's why I was average at best for many years. It was only when I really dived into my own research and pulled out an area of specialism, which was giving people the confidence and the skills to set and achieve very big goals, success principles, personal effectiveness, that kind of stuff, that I decided to look into becoming either an industry niche or a subject-specific niche. Now, before anybody goes, oh, yes, but then you're limiting your marketplace. Well, maybe. You see, I still work in the corporate uh, environment, giving keynotes, seminars, the occasional training, but not many. I still deliver to CEOs and chief executives at CEO groups all over the place. Um, I still work with schools, staff and education professionals and students of all ages in the education sector. But my particular area of expertise is goal setting. And I can deliver it to virtually any group of any size, of any age, genre, genre, social group, standing. And so I went subject specific. Now, some people are, for example, a coach, general, life coach. Some people are a coach on confidence. Some people are a coach on presentation skills. Some people are a coach on sales, marketing. Some people are a business management consultant. Now, that's what I would call a a, a reasonable... <laughs> A general, a generalist niche. How about drilling deep? What if your specific need was for key account sales? You had a need for key account sales training. Are you going to go to a sales coach? Or are you going to go to a coach whose expertise is in key account management and closing key account sales? So consider niching either as a subject or within an industry it does not prevent you from working in other industries it does not prevent you from offering other services and products myself as a professional speaker my expertise is on goal setting but i deliver it in three or four or several industry sectors i sure i also offer other things but when most of my marketing, I would say 90 plus percent of my marketing and sales activity is driven towards goal setting. That way, I've positioned myself with a reasonable amount of authority and credibility as the go-to guy on goal setting in the UK. Now, what could you do? Are you just a hairdresser? Or could you be a hairdresser whose specialism is this type of haircut or working with this type of hair. Maybe you're a specialist with Afro-Caribbean hair or working with people with straight hair or curly... Excuse my ignorance of your industry, but you get the idea I'm talking about. Are you just an English or an Indian or a French restaurant or do you have a particular niche specialism, something that sets you apart, that makes you the go-to person, niche, business in the sector? Consider it. Look into it. Do your research. It means you can put your fees up. Speak to you soon on another Dave's desk.